shapes that we use to make our specific self-portrait. Yes. Are we, done early? we are not going to be done early, I promise you. This is a lot of steps. So, hold your questions for just a moment. So our heads, roughly, some of them, like when we were drawing, we know that our chins are a little pointier. Some of our chins are a little more square, right? I have kind of a square jaw, so maybe I would tap the chin just a little bit, okay? So that's your first step. Don't worry about all these cracks and things. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you can use your thumb if you'd like, right? Now, silent thumb. Remember how we drew our self-portrait. Who can tell me with a silent thumb where the eyes are? Star. The eyes go from, like, the lines we made before. So where, where, where on your face would your eyes go? Give her a second. Like, right here. So what does that mean, right here? Where? Are they at the top? Where are the top? In the middle, right? So I'm going to make my eye sockets first. So for my eye sockets, I'm going to take my thumbs. Now picture now that my head is actually a piece of clay. Okay? So my head's actually a piece of clay right now. I'm going to take my thumbs and find the middle line where my eyes would go, leaving space for what, Tori? Leaving space for your nose. Absolutely. I always find, lock it back up, ladies. I always find that scholars will take their fingers and put them way close together without any space for the bridge of your nose. So remember, you want to think, do you have a really thin nose, a wider nose, somewhere in the middle, right? Now, I take my thumbs, just a moment. My Yorkie, let's go, you're missing this. Three, how to lock it up. Okay, so I take my thumbs, I'm gonna do it this way. So can everyone see? Yes. yes. I find about the middle line, and I put my thumbs with enough space for the bridge of the nose, okay? And now I'm just going to press. And not too deep, but you end up with what looks kind of like an alien. <laughs> okay? So, alien. Hold your questions, hold your questions for just a minute. So, I have my eye sockets now. The next step, I want to make my nose, right? So, watch me first. Don't do it yet, but watch me first. Whoever's humming needs to stop. Stop. So, I'm going to press in the eye sockets, and then remember, Mariorki, our noses, some of them are wider, some of them are thinner, some of them are pointy. You want to think about this shape, okay? This shape. So I press in the eye sockets, and then I press to create the curve of my nose. Notice, Abby's smiling at me, notice that the thumbs came down, and then where did they go? They touch, right? So watch. Pressing down, and then across. Okay, you can smooth it out. <laughs> so now it looks like it's kind of going like that. Right? Trust me, I, it's going to get good. So hold on just a moment. Now I want to create the nostrils from that point. So nostrils, you're going to picture them like going into the nostril. Just watch for you And then pulling, Mariorki, clay down from the sides of the nose onto the thumb to make that curve. So watch. Imagine the thumbs go into the nostrils and then pull the clay down. Okay? To make the nostrils, very simply. And again, some of our nostrils are wider, some of them are thinner. You want to think about where yours would go. Mariorki. Also, if you have a pointier nose, you should use a pinch of glue. Beautiful, thank you, that was gonna be my next step. So, our heads are 3D. These sculptures are 3D. Mariorki, can I have you just stand here, please? Thank you, so I can see you. So, these are 3D. So you always need to look at it from this angle. Silent thumb, what is this angle? When you look at it from the side, what's that called? It's, it's if you know it, if you know it, it's not a side view. What's it called? A left side view. No. It's a profile. Silent thumb, if you've heard that word before, a profile. Profile view is just the side view, just like that. So look, Tori, look from the side. Now notice my nose is very flat, and if you look at my actual nose, my nose comes out quite a bit. So I'm going to do the pinch and pull method, Mariorki had mentioned, hands down, Tori. And I'm not pinching with all my might, right? 
everything's, what's that word, that lovely G word, I love it so much? Gentle. Well, gentle, another really great G word. Gradual. Gradual, what does that mean, Tori? Gradual, gradual means that you're doing it soft, smooth, and collective. So, I mean, control, control, right? Right? So it's gradual, things happen slowly. So I'm not trying to pinch the nose shape right away. It's gentle, right? I'm trying to shape it out to make it come off that profile a little bit. So, let me see. Can you get the door for me, please? Okay. So always be looking at the profile view as well, right? Now I have my eye sockets. I have my nose. Oh, um, Nikolai, is that okay? Nikolai. Okay, Nikolai, go ahead, sir. So ladies, let's fill in the space here. Tori, come this way. All right, great. So what am I missing, Fatimata? Bye, Nikolai. Yeah, yeah, mouth. My mouth. So to make a mouth, I'm going to use this tool, which is called what? Nice. Don't pull out. Ma uh, Lauren. A modeling. A modeling tool. So this tool for Reha is really lovely for creating those sort of impressions and things. But watch, I can also make the mouth quite nicely this way. Okay? Now, yes. <coughs> So we'll talk about that, right? Right now we're just focusing, but good observation. The cheeks are very flat. And if, if you look at the profile, our cheeks have space. They have dimension, they have volume, right? <coughs> so we're just focusing today, because we're not going to have a lot of time, Tori, get serious now, to get that far along, right? So for the mouth, that's one of the pieces, if you go back to the facial expression chart, that really will change the story behind your piece. So let me think of my story. Let's see. This morning, I was really nervous, so I'm going to make my nervous face again. I was nervous because I knew my bus wasn't going to get me to work or school on time. I knew it wasn't going to get me to work. So what I ended up doing was taking a cab again. My goodness. But when you're doing your sculpture, I really want you to think of the story behind what you're sculpting, right? So nervous. Let's see. I'm going to make a face. I feel nervous. So my, I can feel that my... <laughs> Just a moment. Right? Something kind of like... Mm -hmm. right? Think of the angle behind the nervous face. And now I'm feeling kind of my eyebrows. My eyebrows, like, one kind of comes down, right? Like that. Something like that. Nervous. So maybe one eyebrow up, one down. That's kind of confused, right? Louis, do not pull out. But I can always come back and fix it, okay? I want to show you one more thing before we get started, so we'll have enough time to work. Now, to do the eyes. Hold on, just a moment. I'm going to create a sphere, and I always want to check, right? Is it too big? Is it too small? No. Can I just stick it there? No. no. Uh, don't pull out. Don't pull out. Kayla's giving me a silent thumb down. What do I have to do? You have to score and slip. Score and slip. Someone walk me through the steps. What's the first step, Fatimata? The first step, you're supposed to open the lip and you need to take your finger. Oh, not oh, yet. Oh, wait, I see some scholars disagreeing. Abby, first step. First, you have to use the... the... Don't steal her learning. It looks the way it is named. A pin? The pin hole? Pin... Okay. What is it? Is it a book? Is it a... Fatimata? Help her out. Help her out. A pin tool. What's this called? A pin tool. A pin tool, right? So I take the pin tool and I do what? Then you then you make lines or X's on, on both, so the, both the eyes and on the clay. Right. So what are those lines called? What's that step called, Miriam? Don't steal her learning. Help me out. Score and slip. No, but what are those lines called? The. What are those lines called? Contextualizing. Well, you're thinking of texture, which I love that you're using that reference. But what's it called? I was going to say texture. Not texture. Scoring. Scoring. There you go. It's in the. Give her some space. And some space. So I need to score, right, Abby? I need to do what? What's this called, Abby? You have to score. Score. So not too deep, right? But I want to make texture, not contextualizing. I like your thinking, but texture, it's right there. 
Texture, one of my elements of art. So both sides, absolutely, right? So I score in the eye socket as well. Don't worry, it doesn't hurt them. Keep my tools clean, right? What's the next step? I have score marks on both sides. Tori, now what? Then after that, you do not, you take the you take the don't steal from learning. You take the slip. Slip, beautiful. But you don't rub. You gently um. Dip. Tip. What am I doing? Tapping. Tapping. So why do I need to tap? Why do I need to tap, Lauren? You you need to tap. You, you need to tap because if you put if you if you if you put it all over all over that eye. It, well, if I rub it, right? The, she was saying you have to tap it into those marks. Why? No, stop. Give her a second to think. If I rub this, what's going to happen? Your, your fingers will go, your, your fingers will, will, will get messed up. Awesome. So you're, but I'm thinking about the clay, right? The whole point of scoring and slipping is so you have these two textured pieces, right? So if I rub it, am I still going to have two textured pieces? No. What am I going to have? You're going to have one, one piece that's wet and one piece that's dry. Not wet and dry. Stop, stop, stop. Put your hands down. I want to make sure she can understand this. You, have, you need the texture to attach the two pieces, right? Free hug. You need the two pieces to have texture so when they attach, remember, they dry nice and solid. So if you rub that slip in, what happened? There will be too much pressure on on the clay, and it will start. And that pressure, it, while trying to hold your piece together, it will. So you're you're I I think you're on the right track, but not quite phrasing it right. Hurry up. Not quite. No, no, no. Listen, listen to the question. If I rub the slip on my score marks, what's going to happen? Your your piece is going to break off because. Rubbing it, then that means it's like you did no texture. So your piece, like, it, your piece you're, is going to break off. Right, you're going to lose your texture. So, Lauren, why don't I rub? You don't rub because you're going to because because you're going to lose your texture. Beautiful. We want those score marks, right? You have to tap it into those little score marks. So then I take my eyeball and I'm pressing it in, but I'm also gently wiggle, wiggling it. Lewis, check your posture. Wiggling it so those texture marks. The score marks are nice and solid and attached. Okay? So wiggling my eyeball, pressing it in. We're going to stop there for today. So your goals are eye sockets, noses, mouth expression, and if you get a chance to get to eyeballs, start to make your eyeballs. Okay? Question. Lewis. What about hair? Do not worry about hair. Hair is like not even tomorrow. Okay? We're focusing on expression. Think about the story that your piece is telling. Miriam, last question. I was confused with Can you tell me, please? Because you, it was the eye circle that you moved it up a little bit, and you were supposed to move the eyebrows up. But the eyebrow, don't worry about it. We'll do the eyebrows tomorrow, OK? So right now, I know. Come join us, sir. Eyes glued right here. So right now, we're only worried about eye sockets, noses, mouth expression, and getting the eyeballs in there, OK? Last question. Where do you put your name at? Time. Rephrase that sentence or that question rather. Where do you put your? It's not where do you put your name at. Rephrase it. Where do you put your name? Right. Where do you put your name? Put your name, your initials, on the back of the head. And make sure you are putting your symbol, your class symbol. Okay? If you forgot your symbol, they're on the wall. Now, Fox Mata, really, last question. I want to have enough time to work. Yes. You stop. You might have the same question or concern. Victor, track right here. Yes. Not a question, but I have, I have a way you could make the um, eye. I think you, instead of doing this 
and make a